Good evening, my name's JLipo7, and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Y Classic Lock. So, last time we were still stuck in the power plant because we have to battle countless amounts of Team Flare Grunts, and that, as I'm saying at the moment, we have even more coming in. So, we have to continue where we left off, and I probably won't be able to show my entire team. You can look at it last episode, and she has three Pokemon. So, yeah. We're like about to be half the game because we got four gym badges, but you have to also account for side stories like Team Flare's boss, so that's not exactly half the game done. I'm thinking about 40%, I'm guessing. <laughs> Just making up numbers. <laughs> Anyways, I'm about to run out of surf. Oh, wait, that's high jump kick? Dang, what the? Wow. Gotta be careful against those Scraggies. Like, even though they're little, they're powerful as hell. And you have Light Bar, but I'm running out of Surf. But you know what I'm gonna use instead? I'm gonna use Ice Beam instead. And Ice Beam is about to run out of Power Points. I don't know if I have an Ether. I think I do. I might have an Ether. I'm probably gonna use it right after a battle or two. Because you need to preserve it for this boss in front. And what about you? What happens if I go down? Oh, yeah, you're still there. Yep, you're still mad. You're still pissed off. Oh well, I kind of understand. Oh wow. We're in the boss. Um, f I mean, I don't know if it's a boss fight. It looks like a subordinate battle. Anyways, we're going to use potions again. And as you can tell how much I'm using, Lapras has pretty high HP. Alright, what about you? How much longer? If you're just interested in effects, I say we only have enough energy to power the device. Good, let's finish up here and move out. There's still more work to be done. What do you mean? You mean me? <laughs> Perhaps you mean taking out this annoying little Pokemon trainer over there? What's this? I didn't think anyone remained here after we dealt with the workers. And we're gonna battle him. Let's see what he has. Team Flur Admin. No name, no official name given, but you do have a Houndoom, which means I can easily bop with Surf. And you only have one Pokemon, and I have two. I used to have a full team, beat up. That only works, that only works effectively if you have a full team. Oh, Surf doesn't take it out. Oh no, I'm running out, I just ran out of Surf. Yep, Fire Fang. Are you gonna burn me or flinch me? Oh, you just flinched me. Congratulations. Alright, you're down. You're done, Houndoom. Enough playing around. Anyways, after this, I think I have to defeat another one, too. Ah, uh, okay. What else? <laughs> what else? Um, yeah, there's a lot of um, dialogue heavy on some parts. Take care of this intruder. You don't give me an opportunity to heal my team. Oh, okay. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Eliana. As you can see, I'm one of the Team Flare scientists. I'm researching a certain something that you wouldn't understand. Dang, why are you giving information so broad that I'm probably going to keep asking you many, many questions until you probably reveal your true secret. Anyways, my Diana is all you have. Why you know have fire types? <laughs> Actually, the scientist does have a fire type. I think it's like fire dark. Anyways, we can dealt with swagger. Please, yes. Uh, we didn't hit ourselves. Level thirty eight. Okay, we are under leveled. But I think we should be fine. Assurance. A crit. Um, confuse. Confuse. Oh, we didn't hit ourselves. Thank you. Then you got through. You got through your dizziness, thank goodness. Level 37, okay, you earned you earned this level up. You want to learn Brine? Uh, let's see, what do I need to forget? I don't think I want to forget something. <laughs> Brine is good when your opponent has less than half health, mostly in the yellow health bar. Then Brine becomes 130 base power. It acts like a finishing move, but it might be on a TM. Actually, no. Oh, Brian's TM probably replaced with Scald. Wow. Times times fly by. It's like I'm referring something to 2007, but now it's 2014. 
and pretty soon to be 2015. Oh my. What are you looking at? Oh, you're looking at Team Flare Grants? Yeah, they're both gone. I single-handedly finished them all. I finished them. <laughs> you and your Pokemon are ultimate team, no doubt about this. Take these. Full restores. Oh, thanks. I like it. I remember one time it tried to give me Max Revive and I hated it. Because I can't use it for... <laughs> I can't use it for um, the Nuzlocke challenge. I mean, once the Pokemon faints, it's already been dead. So what's the point of keeping revives? Anyways, we should be able to exit here because Team Flare Grunt is no longer mad. And it decided to flee. I don't know. Maybe I should go back to this one and see what else they got to say. Oh wait, yeah. I We're looking for the thank you sign. Oh, please accept this. We got a magnet. No held items. Oh, speaking about held items, let me check my team. It has no held items, right? We are playing um, just like the same style as Pokemon Red and Blue, where held items doesn't exist. Um, I don't know. I think that's about it. <laughs> it's me and trying to make the thing things hard. <laughs> and so we're pretty much done with the power plant, and we can have access to Lumino City, which means we don't have to backtrack all the way through. We can just take a shortcut there. But before we do, we need to catch a Pokemon because we haven't done so. We haven't catch, we haven't catch a Pokemon there. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. What's it gonna be? Please. I know you're here. There it is. We got a Duck Trio here. That is a Gen One Pokemon, so we should be able to catch it. However, I don't know if Body Slam's gonna take um, Duck Trio out. Maybe. Maybe not. Let's try it. I got no other options. Are you gonna use Sucker Punch? Not bad. Don't kill it, don't kill it, don't kill it, don't kill it, don't kill it. Okay, good. It's on the red health bar. Perfect for capture. We're gonna use... We're gonna use Great Ball. Let's see how much a Great Ball can do. And I heard it's pretty hard to capture, too. I'm trying to catch any Pokemon Fire Red, and it's like... Very, very hard to catch. It's like Great Balls keep busting out every time. Or Ultra Ball. I don't think we have Ultra Ball at the time. It was I had like three badges back in Fire Red Leaf Green, so yeah. Come on, one. <laughs> yeah, it is hard to catch. What is this catch? Magnitude 10? Wow. Okay, yeah, we need we need to catch you right now. You're you're a great asset to the fifth gym leader because I'm about to battle it soon. Can you stop breaking free? Okay. I'm about to get injured, am I? Just get in the freaking ball! <laughs> uh, stop giving me... Oh, oh come on! <laughs> Manny 2-6? Okay. Yeah, I need a heal. Oh my god, I'm... Well, it's luckily that we have four restores. How many How many four restores are there? Oh, two? That's all? Only two? You could have given me five. Uh, magnitude 7, yeah, Sand Tomb. I'm hurt like four to five turns. Okay, can you please get in the Pokeball? We need members. We need team members with diversity. Okay. Oh, come on, please. Oh, this is gonna take forever, isn't it? Is it gonna be an entire episode just trying to catch that one Pokemon that's so freaking hard? It's like it has a catch rate of three. I don't think it has a catch rate of three. I think it's like a low catch rate. Oh, we were so close. I thought I was expecting the stars to come out from the Great Ball. Yeah. It is hard to catch. If it was a Diglett, it would have been okay. Oh, uh, yeah. Come on. <laughs> Bulldoze. Oh, okay. My speed fell. No problem. But seriously, why don't you get in the Pokeball? I mean, yeah. One kind of Pokeball. Or do you like the Pokeball instead? Oh my god, this is gonna take- how many times was it? Seven times? It took about seven tries. No, we threw eight great balls and still failed. Nine- nine great balls were still failed. Okay. <laughs> Am I about to run out of Pokeballs? Because I'm like one quarter of running out of stock. Yeah, that's gonna take a while. If only I had paralyzed you. 
I don't trust this. What if this magnitude 10 followed by Centum damage and my Lapras would have been dead? Do you not want to get caught? I would like it if you s comply and s maybe you want to be in the Pokeball instead. Great Ball is just bad, I guess. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yes, we got it! Oh, I think it prefers to be in the Pokeball instead of a Great Ball. Oh yeah, that's kind of nice. <sighs> took forever. Took about 34 minutes. And almost potentially killed one of my Pokemon, which I probably don't like. Okay, Ductrio, what should I name you? Well, you're the triple, triple Dicklet. And... I'm just gonna name Mole. M O L E. Oh my god, I can't. I don't. I don't feel like the mood to make any nicknames, but I have to. So I'm just gonna make some random letters. Okay, let's see. I think I can. I don't think I have to heal though. Okay, so we got three members in our team. We got a Duck Trio, and we got two others. Uh oh, who is he? He's like a nine foot tall person. The per the Pokemon, the flower Pokemon. The Pokemon that was given eternal life. What is a Pokemon look like? What does a flower Pokemon flower Pokemon look like? I don't know. But we are done with this route. And we're on the other side of Lumino City. And we can see the gym up front too. Lil V oh is it Shauna? Oh it is. <laughs> I ran you after I ran you like crazy when I spotted you up ahead. You know what? I heard the powers back on here in Lumino City. Some really bad people were stealing electricity from Kalos power plant. And then somebody came and stopped him. Yeah, it's me. It was me. Yes. No way. <laughs> and get this, they're gonna light the tower. Let's go see it. Okay, good. We're about to go there. Prison Tower. Prison did you know that Prison Tower was one of the stages in Super Smash Bros. for the 3DS? Well, it's kind of like... It's a good thing they made that stage, too. I don't know, any Pokemon stage is good. But anyways, we're gonna heal Pokemon. We're gonna do some grinding because... The 5th Gym Leader is probably in the late 30s. Maybe in the early 40s. Who knows? Alright, so we're gonna... S the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna... S we're going to see the prison tower lighting up, and then we're going to end it here. Alright, what we have here? Oh, this is Clement and Bonnie. And his main protagonist in the anime. Good timing, they're just about to turn on the lights. And about the anime, who's going to take care of this gym? <laughs> Look, it's Clement, his Lumino City gym leader. He's also good at inventing things, and he makes all kinds of device. Those dudes are my friends. Nice to hear. And it proves consistent in one of the episodes last week or two. Are we done yet? Not quite. I just have to check out the lightning circuit here. Oh, Oh, Shauna. And you're a challenger? Sorry, but could you wait a moment? Come on. He said it's not ready yet. Okay, alright, everything's ready. The future is now, thanks to science. Prism Tower lightning system activate. Oh, here it is. What's this gonna look like? It's gonna be all yellow. I know, all white. I admit, Pokemon X and Y has lots of beautiful one-off cutscenes there. Mm. That lasts a few seconds. Mm. I think you call this feeling being entranced, right? And I have another great memory. Excellent. My prison tower's lighting system worked brilliantly. Just like my own, all inventions. Yeah, right, whatever. There are challengers waiting for you, you know. Um, Prism Tower itself is Lumino City's um, Pokemon Gym. His inventions work most of the time, but unfortunately, in the end, it explodes. <laughs> Except for the Apom arm <laughs> and the Heliolisk um, thing in his backpack. Anyways, we're gonna end it off here, but before we challenge the gym, we have to do some serious grinding once again. So, until then, I'm gonna take a break here. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.